So in this demo, let's review how Azure Firewall works. So in this demo, we use this very simple example from the tutorial. So if we look at the topology that we're going to use, so basically I'm going to use a jump box that I will connect from the internet. Uh, from this jump box, I will connect to a server. And this server, instead of uh, using the SNAT connection to the outside, we actually modified the routing table using uh, what we call UDR. Uh, for user-defined uh, routing and all its outgoing communication will go to Azure Firewall and this is Azure Firewall that will go and connect it through the internet. So from here we can be able to define a set of uh, security policy and inspection um, rules. So here we go, let's go to the environment. So I am into this resource group here where I have put all my objects uh, related to uh, this demo. So we see first that we have a virtual network. So in this virtual network, I have defined three subnets. So the jump box subnet on 10.0.0.0/24. Then we have the Azure Firewall subnet on 10.0.1. And then we have the server subnet from 10.0.2.0. And out of that, I'm going to have basically a connection to the jump box uh, and then to the server. So the server is having an IP uh, address uh, which is only uh, private and it's actually uh, 10.0.2.4. Now, as, as we mentioned, uh, we define here an Azure uh, Firewall routing table. So here we see that from the server subnet uh, on 10.0.2.0 slash 24, I have said that the default route would be sent to 10.0.1.4 which is the IP address of Azure Firewall. So if we go to the firewall object here, we see that 10.0.1.4 is the IP address of this firewall. So let's go uh, to our environment. Now we see that I am on the jump box here and on the jump box on 10. Dot zero zero dot four. I can do any type of communication, so I can ping 8.8.8, uh, .8 .8. uh, that's uh, the outbound uh, communication by default. I can connect via remote desktop to 10.0.2.4, so now I'm on the server subnet, and here I'm going through the firewalls, so I cannot ping 8.8.8, .8 .8 .8 doesn't work and if I'm going to browse a uh, uh, server uh, internet from the server which by the way guys don't do that but let's uh, uh, say for the purpose of demo that you do I can go on www.microsoft.com uh, so it it works and I cannot go, for instance, to a wonderful site, which is arnoldlerer.io, because it says that basically, hey, HTTP request to arnoldlerer.io, no rule match, uh, so uh, proceeding with the default action. So how does it work here? If we go back on the firewall here, we have the different uh, rules that are configured. And now I'm going to create a new rule for the application security so I can create a new one or I can edit an existing one and here we see that I have by default authorized traffic to everything uh, Microsoft.com so we're going to create another rule here to um, enable traffic same thing to uh, the blog that we see just previously and I'm gonna enable everything that my blog and then you save the rule and once it's applied we are going to test again into our environment so now that the rule is applied let's go back to our virtual machine and let's see if the traffic is now able to flow so we're going back to IE and we are going to refresh uh, the blog page so we validate the URL and we validate that we are now able to go to the web page and uh, see the content. So this is a very simple example that uh, shows you the filtering capability that we have with Azure Firewall. Now let's look at the login capability that we have with it. 
So we are back in the Azure portal and when we go to the diagnostic logs we have uh, here the configuration for the logs and you see that I have configured basically uh, two items out of the tree. So you can configure a sending log to log analytics which is what I do into this uh, container. Then we also have the possibility to store uh, the log into the storage account for longer term retention. And here you see that I'm exporting Azure Firewall application rule, network rule, and all the metrics that are related to that. So I can use uh, log analytics to do the query into that. I can also use the export in Power BI for that. But if we want to look at the longer term uh, retention information, I'm going to use Storage Explorer. And you see here that AZ Firewall log, that's the uh, repository, the, the storage account that I use here. And then I'm using the Insight Log Azure Firewall and I can download here the whole uh, log for the day as a JSON file. So here you can see that I have the complete log file of whatever has been uh, requested to this environment. So we can see the the match uh, and uh, the application um, rule that has been matched for consulting the, the firewall, uh, for consulting the blog, as you can see here, arnolero.io action uh, allow because app rc1 is applied here. So that's it for this demo and for the very quick exploration and first step with Azure Firewall.